as descent to fall down. I've taught over and over the difference between falling down and the difference between standing in the Bible. You can argue this if you want. The theme in the Bible of standing, Paul told us to stand, to stand, to stand, to stand, to stand, have, to withstand, having done all to stand. We're told to stand, 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 all through the Bible. And you look at things that fell. Jericho fell, okay? The walls of Jericho fell. Babylon has fallen. Dagon has fallen. Uh, when Nebuchadnezzar played the music, get it? Everybody fell. And how did they know who the Christians were? They're the ones that were standing. Big difference. When the Holy Ghost comes on a person, the real Holy Ghost, the one that models the image of this Bible right here, it causes the Christian to stand, not fall. You, you're not going to show me that in the Bible. And so, Shakti Pot, and let me read on, I'll show you how this is done. Shakti Pot can be intermediated by the spiritually enlightened master either by transmission of a sacred word or mantra that is contemplative prayer. A look. That's why they have, uh, Peter said they have eyes full of adultery. They can just look and mesmerize people. Uh, a thought or by touch. The touch, watch this now, is usually given to the Anya Chakra or third eye. You know where that is? It's right here. Shakti pot can be transmitted in a person or at a distance through an object such as a flower or fruit or via telephone or letter. Or Oral Roberts, who, who, who pioneered this, who said, now, God, God told me this. God told me that if you'll just put your hand against mine in the television screen, that that would be a form of contact between you and me, and I would be transmitting the power of the Holy Ghost and healing power on you. Go ahead and touch the television screen. And can you think of millions upon millions of people that believed this nonsense and went up to their television screen? I'm telling you. We live in a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous world. Shakti Pot is uh, evident. It's the awakening of the Kundalini. And it looks like this. Okay? That's what it looks like. You ever seen anything like that before? Okay? That's not in the Bible, people. It's not. It's not in the Bible. Oh, Pastor Mike, laying on of hands. I'm going to read you some scriptures. Okay? Because that's what I believe. I don't believe just... And, and I'll say this. And some of you heard my testimony. And again, I love you, Assembly of God people. I do. I, I love you enough to not just... Well, we just got to get along. So I'm not going to say anything. I love you enough to tell you the truth. I was going to go for this. I was. Several years ago, back before God started this ministry, I, I told you I was hungry, I was looking. You know, it was after this that I thought, well, maybe I can be a liberal. Maybe that'll, that'll fill my soul. I went to a Pentecostal church, won't tell you what. I went to a Pentecostal church. I went forward. I said, God, here I am. You do whatever in me. If this is real, I want it. If not, God, I don't want it. The guy came by, laid his hands on me. And I didn't flinch. I didn't fall down. I didn't feel shock waves going through my system. And so they cut, and they had a catcher behind me. They had a guy come by, do it again, because it didn't take the first time. And I didn't fall. And all along me, I, 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 all behind me, I heard a woman. Literally, I'm, I'm exactly what she was doing. That's what she was doing. And I said, wait a minute, that's that's not tongues. That is babble. That's what babble is. That's what that is. And I said, God, thank you for not turning me over to that. I love you enough to tell you the truth. That kind of manifestation of occult energy is not seen in the scriptures. Nowhere. You don't see it anywhere, people. Oh, the book of Acts. You go study the book of Acts. I don't have time to do it on this broadcast. Let me read you some things that do deal with um, laying on the hands. Uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, let me read this. Let no man deceive you by any means. Come on, people. Come on. That means by any means. Don't let a Watchman video broadcast from a secret broadcasting compound deceive you. Don't let that happen. Go to the Word of God. Follow the Scriptures. Follow them. 
Follow him religiously. Because that's the only way we're going to be saved is by following the word of God. And if somebody comes along and says, oh, you need to go see so-and-so at the healing center. He's going to do this and he's going to get rid of all your problems. Don't believe that stuff, people. Let no man be deceived by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a what? A falling away first. So here's Benny Hinn going... <laughs> And remember, Shakti Pot doesn't have to be delivered by touch. It can be delivered by a look or anything like that. And these people are doing what? They're falling away. They're not... <sighs> this is what's going on. There's going to come a falling away. And I'm telling you what, Benny Hinn and all these guys, they're acting out the scriptures right in front of people's eyes. And they don't... They, they, I don't care what the Bible says. I felt it and it was real. <sighs> I tell you people, I've got a passion. I've got a passion. My broken, my broken life, my, my unclean life, I have a passion for the truth. I'm not perfect and I don't know it all and people ask me questions. Pastor Mike, what do you believe about this? What do you, what, our doctrine says this. Do you agree with our doctrine? In some cases, I don't know, people. But I want to know. I want to know the truth. And I know that that's not the truth. When, we, that when the falling away comes, boy, I tell you what, this Bible is so right. Except they're coming, falling away first, and the man of sin be revealed. Now think about Revelation, because when they, they tell you that, that this Shakti pot will, will open up the chakras, whatever those are, the chocolates, they'll open up the chocolates in your life and your third eye will be open and you'll be illuminated and it will bring the kundalini energy and you will be, watch this, you will be awakened and the truth will be revealed. And that's what they're doing. And you have friends and family members that are caught up in this stuff and you're going to give them a copy of this or tell them to watch it. They're going to hate you for that. I'm just telling you right now, they're going to hate your guts. Maybe I'm not on the Southern Poverty Law Center's list, but I guarantee you I'm on somebody's list. Don't watch that, Pastor Hoggard. Okay? There's going to come a falling away first, and when they fall, that's when it's going to be revealed to them. And I'm telling you, that Kenneth Hagin and, and, um, and uh, Oral Roberts and all these guys, were, they're, they're setups. They were setting everybody up 50, 60, 75 years ago in these tent revivals. Then along comes Benny Hinn, and then along comes uh, Todd Bentley. And then, and then it's going to get worse, and these people are setting people up to receive the Antichrist, a mark in their right hand or forehead. I'm telling you it's going to happen. What about biblical laying on of the hands? 1 Timothy chapter 2, lay hands on no man, lay hands suddenly on no man. Okay? So, in other words, and I just believe in the literal Bible. Don't let anybody say, I'm going to give you, I'm going to impart to you. Boom! I had a guy tell me. I told him, I said, you know, I asked God for dreams and visions one time, and he didn't do it. And he said, I can lay hands on you and give you that impartation. And I said, no, sir, you cannot. If God told me I couldn't have it, then who are you to give it to me? And I was not, I was not going to let him lay hands on me. Don't let anybody just come up to you and say, oh, God's given me. Don't let them do that. Okay? And I will tell you that if you're truly born again, I, I, believe, I believe God will protect you. I really do. God protected me. I mean, that's what, that's what happened. God protected me. Don't let anybody do that. Okay? But then look at, look at laying on the hands. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 14. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Uh, if, if, uh, I, I believe, when I was ordained as a, as a preacher, a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, some elders, some men, some godly men, they didn't come over to, oh, I'm going to give you an impartation. They come over to me and they gently laid their hands upon me. Okay? And, and, they, and I believe it. I believe that if a man is to be called of God in, in the New Testament church, that is conferred upon him by biblical authority, which is the elders. That's what I believe in. I believe that from the scripture. So I believe in laying on the hands. Uh, Jacob laid his hands upon Manasseh and Ephraim and conferred to them the blessing. These guys have taken that, and there's always a counterfeit people, and they have taken that all the way out, and now they're not conferring a blessing on people. They're waking them up to the Antichrist. I've got a couple things I just received today, and I thought I'd share them. I appreciate those who send me this stuff.